In this video, we're gonna be covering how to get millions of views on TikTok without going viral. In fact, you don't need to go viral anymore on TikTok to get millions of views. In the past, you had to go viral. If you wanted to get a million views, two million views, five million views, you were gonna find out very quickly whether or not your video was going to get that many views because it would need to go viral, but that is not the case anymore. In fact, so many small creators are now making content that's getting millions of views and they don't even have to go viral for it to happen and they're gonna to continue to get more and more and more views and the reason that that is happening is because TikTok is becoming more SEO based. What do I mean by that? I mean that TikTok is becoming more search based and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to show up for search keywords on TikTok so you could create content for that. And this content is going to be evergreen. It's gonna give you views today, next week, two weeks from now, four weeks from now, and ultimately, this is gonna help you get way more views on TikTok, which quite frankly, are going to be more valuable than the views that you would get if you just went viral, and it's going to help you get millions of views, and it's gonna help you get more predictable views. The days of having to post every single day, or having to put out several pieces of content a day just to be successful, those can all be gone if you implement an SEO-based strategy into your TikTok growth. These same exact principles helped this creator get a million views, this creator get a million views, this creator get a million views, and this creator got a million views. And you can do the same exact thing if you implement the blueprint that I'm about to share with you. But before I could dive into that, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you wanna grow quicker on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube, I literally upload a video about how to grow on these platforms every single day. In addition to that, I created a free TikTok growth course. You can get it the link in the pinned comment below. It's gonna share with you things like the best time to be posting right now, what hashtags to be using, and even how to turn your viewers into followers. In addition to that, here's my phone number right here. Please shoot me a text message. I literally quit my job working for Gary Vee to help you grow on social media. More importantly, to help you grow on TikTok. So take advantage of me because I wanna help you grow. So right now there are essentially two different types of content that you could be creating on TikTok. The first one is going to be search-based. It's going to be things that people are actually searching for and then your video is gonna show up. This means that you're gonna get views for a very long period of time. The views are gonna come in a bit slower but you will get predictable views and you actually know the intention of somebody that is searching that up and then looking at your video so you're able to put a sales pitch at the end of your video. You're able to put a call to action at the end of your video. You're able to extract more value and get more followers from these videos. And then the second type of video is going to be a recommended video. A recommended video is going to be something that shows up on the For You page or shows up on somebody's follower tab. And those are the videos that you're currently seeing right now on TikTok that everybody's been seeing for forever. But like I said, TikTok is going more SEO based and it's something that you need to make sure that you're doing. And I'm going to share with you later on in this video, whether or not you should be niching down, how you can rank for keywords on TikTok and what keywords you should actually be targeting within your niche. But in order to be successful, you need to know how search actually works on TikTok. So the way that works, it's incredibly simple. When you search for something on TikTok, videos are now going to be coming up. They're going to be the top videos. In fact, they're going to be the videos, not with the most views, not with the most likes, but that are keeping people on the app for the longest period of time and are the most relevant. So if you upload a video right now about affiliate marketing or how to do affiliate marketing or how to do affiliate marketing on YouTube or how to do affiliate marketing on TikTok, those are all gonna be different search terms. You're gonna see very specific videos for whatever they're posting about there and this is how you're going to be able to target keywords. What I want you to do, you need to be looking for different searches and then you'll see recommended searches come up. You need to have a list of that. It doesn't matter what kind of content you create. If you do fashion content, it could just be certain pairs of clothes. It could be how does this shirt fit? How does Lululemon fit? What I ordered versus what I got. If you're doing affiliate marketing, it could be how to do this, how to do that. If you're doing real estate, it could be how to do this, how to do that. It could be a case study. There's so many different how-tos that you can do no matter what niche you're in. There are so many different things that people are searching for and what you need to do, you need to begin to identify that content and you need to make sure that you're taking a 50-50 approach, putting out 50% of content that's gonna just get recommended on TikTok and 50% of content that is going to be more search-based because you need to make sure that you're covering ground when it comes to search on TikTok right now because this is something so new, it's something a lot of people are gonna catch on to and if you are early on this, it is going to make all the difference in the world. I was early about posting for TikTok on YouTube and getting a stronghold on the search results and that has literally made me a full time YouTuber, it allowed me to quit my job, it completely changed my life, and the same exact opportunity is happening right now on TikTok. If you wanna establish yourself as somebody important within your niche, now is the time to do it. For example, I helped Mike do this within the credit niche. He's the biggest credit creator on TikTok, and he was able to do this because no matter what you look up regarding credit on TikTok, his videos show up. In addition to that, his videos show up in the recommended feed. So what you need to do, not only do you need to be creating search-based content, you also need to be creating recommended-based content based on that search content. 
content. So when you have a list of things that people are searching for, you need to go one step further. You need to make the how-to videos for that or videos that specify that search, but then you also need to make things complementary that. Why? Because the TikTok For You page is then going to recommend to people that search for certain things, people that watch certain videos, people that share certain videos, they're going to recommend them other content that fits into that niche. And that is why you need to do both search-based content and recommendation-based content. So now that you know how this works, the real question is, Rob, should I be niching down on TikTok? And the answer is simple. Yes, you should be niching down on TikTok, but like I said, your search-based content, that should be super niche. You should also be doing super broad-based content. You wanna be going broad to be able to expand your audience, to be able to expand outside of what you're actually targeting, but the niche stuff is where you're really gonna make your money. This is where sponsors are gonna say, hey, this person has a really good audience for XYZ, let's sponsor them. The more niche-based you are, the easier it's going to be the make money, but you also need to be going broad with certain posts to increase the amount of reach that you're getting. And you don't want to be super niche down because then your followers are going to lack, the amount of views that you're getting is going to lack, and it's going to not help with your social status that you actually have within your niche. So you need to have a very good mix of both niching down and broadening out, but you need to make sure that you're sticking to a specific niche. Now, a lot of you guys watching this video right now, you don't know what your niche is. In that case, I would recommend posting about several things. If you like fashion, post about that. You like fitness, post about that. You like get ready with me content, post about that. You like the economy or finance, post about that and see which niche actually takes off for you. Because for different personalities, for different content types, maybe just for the type of content that you want to be creating, you might not know exactly what your niche is. So if you don't know what it is, you need to test a bunch of things, see what actually works. But the second something works, you need to double down on it. If you already know your niche, then you need to make sure that you begin showing up in search and you're doing the things that are recommended or getting recommended within your niche. And the way to figure out whether or not it's one or the other, you need to look at your competitors and see how quickly they're getting views on videos. A lot of videos out there now, they will get views immediately. That is a recommended post. But then there are also videos that are getting a lot of views over a long period of time, and those are search-based posts. But all in all, the reason that I really want you to niche down is because it's going to help you grow quicker on TikTok. A lot of creators on TikTok are just posting random stuff. They'll post a trend here, they'll post something else here, they'll post something else there, and this is a huge problem when it comes to small creators on TikTok. The reason you're not making a full-time living on TikTok yet, the reason you don't have the followers that you want on TikTok yet is because you haven't established yourself within a niche. So TikTok doesn't know who to push your content to, and creators don't know to share your content, they don't know to keep coming back for your content, and that's the reason that you haven't been successful. And the majority of that comes down to you not doubling down on what has worked. I look at so many small creators accounts all the time. They will have a post that got 10,000 views, 20,000 views, sometimes a million views. And then every other post that they've done has been on a different topic, using a different sound, of a different length, using a different hook, and that is why they haven't been successful. I need you guys to go back, implement everything that I shared with you in this video, and make sure that once something works, you double down on it. If you're still having trouble coming up with what works, and you wanna take advantage of TikTok's organic reach before it's gone, and you want me to personally look at your account, tell you exactly what to post to guarantee that you grow on TikTok and get results like all the other creators and examples I shared with you in this video, then you need to keep watching this video. The opportunity to grow on TikTok and this organic reach is not going to last forever, and the only thing separating you from the creators that I mentioned in this video is one, that you haven't implemented the steps from this video yet, and two, you haven't gotten into my mentorship program where I literally guarantee that I can help you grow on TikTok. If you register for this program, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use, and I'm gonna critique your content for 30 days in order to guarantee that you grow on TikTok. You heard that right. If you don't grow on TikTok in this program, you get your money back, zero questions asked. The average person that has joined the program in the last 30 days gained over 50,000 followers, and the lowest amount of followers anybody has ever gained in the program is 6,500 followers. If you want results like that, and I'm guessing that since you're still watching this video, you're probably above average, so you probably see more than 50,000 followers in just 30 days, no matter what niche you're in, no matter what background you're from, none of that stuff matters. The only thing that matters is you need a social media coach, you need somebody telling you what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use, so that you get results faster and you get results a lot easier. If that sounds interesting, go to the link in the description below. There are limited spots available and the price is gonna be going up in 2022, so please make sure you check this out. This is the same exact program Joel Magician used to gain over 16 million followers, that Moves used to gain over 14 million followers, that Tuvok used to gain over 10 million followers, and thousands of other creators. I'm telling you guys, this opportunity is not going to last forever. If you want to take advantage of TikTok, you need to invest in I'm telling you guys, this opportunity is not going to last forever. If you want to take advantage of TikTok, you need to invest
invest in this before the price goes up, before there are no spots available, so that you can guarantee that you grow on TikTok. At the end of the day, you have absolutely nothing to lose. You're either going to grow on TikTok or you are gonna get your money back, zero questions asked. Go to the link in the description and sign up right now before spots run out. And by the way, if you're not interested in that, just check out the two videos I'm gonna put up on the screen because they're the videos that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.